it's such a basic storyline i relate to the movie so much because i was raised by a single mother listen i cried no matter how stone cold your heart is trust me you will cry when you watch this movie so if i'm a director or a producer i'll be so proud to see that yes my actors are putting in the work they are just not reading the scripts but then they are actually doing what the the, the role requ requires of them to do <music> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ijoma. If this is your first time seeing me, welcome to the fold. Over here, we have so much fun. So make sure you subscribe before you leave this place. Like my videos. In fact, go back, watch all my videos and tell me which one you like the most. So we are about to get into a movie. Let me tell you something. I went to an event and the minute I got back to my room, I'm like, yo, I have to do this movie review because I don't want to... I don't want to not talk about it as soon as possible so yeah that's why i'm doing this i'm so tired i need to take my bath but i'm like hey i need to do this movie review. so today the movie we are going to be talking about is sister 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 however you want to call it is fine but sister is a movie produced written and directed by the bjorden steven bjorden steven is an amazing director if you if you've been visiting my channel you know i mention her a lot she's a nigerian she's done amazing stories like breaded life introducing the kujus like it's a long list i can't even get into all that right now but the recent banger is sister now sister follows the storyline of a single mother who single-handedly raised two children a boy and a girl she got pregnant at the age of 19 with her boyfriend at the time the boyfriend was 21 years old and when the when they got pregnant the first time their family kicked them out of their houses so they needed to so, so the girl decided to go and patch with her boyfriend who impregnated her on campus so that they can hustle together to take care of the pregnancy so she had a baby boy and you would think they learned their lesson but no they got pregnant again and this was where the whole twist and turn began now this girl was the one hustling to put this boy through school because she had to put her life on hold just so they can raise this child together and when the second pregnancy came the guy was scared like he got a scare and he abandoned her he said he was going to camp and when he got there he wrote a letter telling her that you know what i'm so sorry but i can't do this i'm so young i have to go to school blah 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 so now that's how this woman 19 year old girl ended up with a toddler and a six months i be eight months old pregnancy and her life became a mess now this woman grew up to be a very hard working woman it's not like she had a choice she doesn't she didn't have a choice because she has two children under the age of two so she had to hustle 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 her way through life became a single mom cleaning one house after the other and she used that cleaning job to take care of these two children until they finished school one was in the university one was about to get admission into the university and that's how it began now the whole plot twist is that years later they meet again but this time around their boyfriend who impregnated her when she was 19 years has an awesome life somewhere else and they came back to nigeria to settle blah 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 he is married with kids he has a whole new family listen when i started watching this movie and i saw where the storyline was going i'm like this is a very basic story but then again there is nothing there is no such thing as a basic storyline if the actors and the actresses put their all like they give it their everything and that's exactly what they did now i'll talk about the characters before we talk about the themes in the movie now the characters see 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 Kane de Bancoli. Oh my goodness. I mean, this woman is already already a good actress. I've seen her in movies like um Blood Sisters. Is it Blood Sisters? Yeah, Blood Sisters. She was the mean wife to one of the brothers. And she killed it. And I've seen her in other movies. I've seen her in Super Story. I think Super Story was her breakout series that she did, but people didn't really know about her like that until now. Listen, so whoever Kane De Bancoli is, I think we've been sleeping on her. She's an amazing, amazing, a phenomenal act actor. I mean, she puts her, you could tell Kane De Bancoli is a sweet 
woman, a very beautiful woman. She put herself as Kennedy Bankoli aside and embodied this character, the character of sister. She, she was the main character in the movie. She had this whole, like, if, listen, I relate to the movie so much because I was raised by a single mother. So, listen, I cried. No matter how hard your head is, no matter how stone cold your heart is, trust me, you will cry when you watch this movie. And it's not bad crying, but like, just the fact that she embodied this this character that you, it was real, it seemed so real. So, if I have to rate KD Bankoli out of 10, with 10 being the highest, I would say she gave me 20 over 10. That's how good she was. I've seen her in a lot of movies and she's always blown my mind, but this... I think because she's not been given the chance to act like lead characters, lead characters, so we don't really see what she has. So this one is the first time I'm seeing her playing a lead character and oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my god, she blew us all away. Kendi Bankole, I don't think it would even be fair to talk about the other characters because I tell you, Bisola is also in it, I think, yeah. Bisola is Bisola. We all know who Bisola like, like she's amazing. They and me too is amazing. But I think for this movie, Kende was the movie. Kende was the superstar. She was shining. You could not take her shine. She played that African woman. It would evoke so much emotions in you. Like I'm 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 particularly doing this review because of her. I won't even lie. The, the minute I finished watching it, I was like, whoa. So like I mentioned. DME is inside. He was the man who left his girlfriend when she, she, they were younger. He grew up to be to be DME. He also did amazing. Bisola, yeah. And there's this other actress that I thought she was really, really outstanding. Tokbe. Now, Tokbe is the cousin of DME's wife who linked, who was sort of the key to the puzzle to how they all met again. So, she was playing the role of an Awusa woman and I've seen this girl in other movies and I think she's also good I've, I've never thought she was above average I've just thought she was good, she's average but this movie, I felt like she went the extra mile because her her, her character is an Awusa woman she did, even though she's educated in the movie there was, she did something with her accent now if she had to go and get a speech coach to teach her how to speak like an outside person my goodness she puts in work and that paid off like i would want to see her in more movies because if i'm a director or a producer i would be so proud to see that yes my actors are putting in the work they are just not reading the scripts but then they are actually doing what the the, the role requires of them to do and i think that was phenomenal i think that was amazing so talk by girl just if see, I, I'm giving you the whole tree, not just the flower. I'm giving you the whole tree. You did that. You did that. For I me, like I've talked about him so much. He was good. He didn't exactly blow my mind. Bisola today exactly blow my mind. Even though she she also had this UK accent. This is who Bisola is. Like she knows how to play different roles, and it didn't exactly blow my mind. Maybe because I've seen her so many times. But for Kenya Bankole and talk where these two were outstanding these two stood out for me especially kende bankoli and if any producer or director is listening please let's not sleep on this girl you see i don't think we should sleep on K kende is an amazing actress um see i'm going to add that to my top five actresses like if you ask me drama mention your top five she's definitely going to be a part of it because i love her she was amazing she made me cry Oh, my favorite scene in the movie was where she was praying to God and her son walked in and her son came to give her some form of, you know, encouragement. He walked in and they were speaking Yoruba, was like, mommy, like my rock, my, 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 like the way he was giving, oh my goodness, unless you are wicked, unless you are wicked, that scene will touch you. So the movie has things like, um, forgiveness is a major theme i think the movie has a lot of themes inside but these things that i'm about to mention were very big they were very big on forgiveness they were very big on motherhood they were very big on love i mean motherhood like i said earlier i'm i was raised by a single mother and i, I get it i understand <sighs> and something else i'd like to tackle is the way our parents especially african parents get disappointed when their children um, get pregnant 
out of wedlock now I don't know if I should use the word disappointment. Of course, you're going to get disappointment if you've taken your child to school and you expect them to let it and they go and get pregnant. But I don't think the right thing to do is to kick them out of the house. They are still children. Like, they make mistakes. And this is something that I really want to touch on. African parents need to do better. Yes, you want your child not to sleep with somebody to get pregnant, blah, blah, blah. But kicking your child out of the house, like, that is you sending them to, I don't know, a death trap. And this is something that should be worked on. And yeah, I don't think the the writer lied in this movie. Like it was so relatable, my goodness. So if you've not seen it, kindly go watch it. It's not on Netflix. The day I watched this, I was writing a whole episode on it on my status. And people were asking me, is it on Netflix? No, it's not on Netflix. It's on Amazon Prime. Prime. Pay. It's it's not expensive. A, the whole month you can just pay like like 40 CDs. 30 something, but approximately. 40 series, just get it and watch. There are so many amazing movies. I'm doing free promo for Amazon now, but yo, Sister is a good movie, and I think you guys should watch it. It is my best 2023 Nollywood movie yet because it's such a basic storyline. The fact that the director was able to turn a basic storyline to something mind blowing like this. See, whoever handpicked these characters, especially Kane, whoever casted her for that role oh my goodness kudos like you have an eye you are indeed a filmmaker whoever if it was biodu biodu i salute you whoever casted kane they did an amazing job and i'm so grateful the fact that they had to place emphasis on the fact that because she had to drop out of school her english wasn't so good like they paid attention to details Oh goodness, it was such a good movie. So please, 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 I'm begging you, see it and tell me what you think. So I'm going to leave this movie here, this movie review here. I definitely recommend more movies for me to see and we'll talk about it. So guys, until I catch you in my next video. So then have fun. Bye. Mwah.